Okay, so this video will be more based towards US users because I'm going to be explaining a little bit about the shift card um, and Coinbase. So firstly, what, what we're going to do is we're going to send some Bitcoin to a Coinbase account. Now, if you haven't set up a Coinbase account already, uh, check in the description and I'll leave a link to a video that I actually show you how to set up a Coinbase account that I made a while ago. So that will help you. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we're going to come to our, we're actually going to come to our Coinbase account and what we're going to do is we're going to just for organization purposes we're going to create a new wallet okay now you can create in Coinbase you can create as many wallets as you want for different things sort of like online bank accounts if, if you know if, it's probably the easiest way to explain it so if we come up to new account and we're going to make it a wallet and I'm going to call this um, Steam and then create account. So now over here on the left, you can actually see that we've got it here and it's displayed here. OK, so if I just click on that, you'll see that there's nothing in here. It's empty. OK, so what we need to do is we need to get this wallet address because every wallet that you have within the Coinbase account has its own address. OK, so what we'll do is we'll get the address so we'll come up here on the right and we'll click on wallet address and then we're just gonna drag over here and we'll just copy that okay and then X out of that now let's go back to our Polynex account and in here we've got our Bitcoin so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on withdrawal okay and we're gonna the the address that we just copied from Coinbase. We're gonna put that in there, and the amount I'm going to put in zero point. Uh, how much have I got in there? Zero one. I'm gonna put in that amount. Okay, and it's showing you the transaction fee here. All right, and then I'm gonna go withdraw. Now I need to get a authentication code because I've got that set up. It, it pays to do this as well pretty important uh, for security um, and I've got this one here so let's have a look at that 778 uh, 618 let's put that in okay so it's withdrawn now it could take a minute or so uh, to turn up to Coinbase so you know transactions are never immediate not normally the only time I've ever seen immediate transactions is actually in the Exodus wallet that I've got. That's the only time I've ever seen it. So let's go to, we'll, we'll just, we'll check. So we'll go to the, the Coinbase account and I'll just refresh this uh, and see if it's actually turned up. It might have, but we'll have a look. And uh, let's see if there's anything in here yet. So no, no there's nothing. We go to here. No, there's nothing nothing has turned up here yet okay so let me just pause this video I'm going to time it and we'll see how long it takes okay so it took about about two minutes to turn up um, and I've actually left it for a while so it should actually show it won't show pending when I uh, refresh this now so if I refresh it it should be all good to go okay so it's all good to go but that took about 30 minutes for it to actually uh, be available you can see now that it's actually available in here on the side you can see it available there too okay so now what I want to do is I just want to show you the shift card which is actually uh, that okay now I use this for a few things I don't I don't use it all the time but it's good to have it there uh, and definitely as crypto you know becomes more um, part of my life um, you know, I probably won't use it as much because I want to try and go totally decentralized, but at the moment it's a good thing to have. So uh, now the way that you do this is you actually connect it to your Coinbase account and it runs from your main, your default BTC wallet. Okay, so you need to have Bitcoin in this particular wallet. Uh, when you use your shift card okay now to get your shift card uh, you come to here and it's shiftpayments.com okay and you can see here it's very simple very easy to use very easy to connect 
you just got to make sure that you have at least ten dollars worth of bitcoin in your coinbase account because it costs nine dollars 99 to purchase this card to, to order your first card okay and it takes about three to five business days for you to receive that card okay now you can have a look through this site i'm not going to go over it because it'll take too long but you know all the fees are down there and you can you can sort it out and and you know learn a little bit about it just by having a look at this site so once you connect it you can use it there is also an app that you can download um, which i'll actually i'll show you that right now so here you can actually see i've got i've got my ipad uh, on the screen here and you can see there's a couple of transactions that i've made here in the past uh, and you can see that available now is 65 cents okay and that coincides with what i just said which is the main account your btc wallet okay so when you connect this app uh, and when you connect your shift card when you use it it will use the bitcoin from this particular wallet and that can't be changed so just bear that in mind if you do hook this up now the shift card is available to only to to us residents and i think it's around 28 to 30 states at the moment so it is getting more but um so anyway that's just an option you can also uh connect your paypal account to your coinbase account and then you can sell your bitcoin directly to your paypal account and it will just put the money in there the only problem with that is that when you make a transaction to paypal it costs you 3.7 percent so i don't actually use it for that uh, i only use this debit card because this debit card is actually the fees are very very low it does cost a little bit if you want to withdraw cash out of an atm uh, you know you've got your standard uh, non-bank fees which is something like three dollars fifty per transaction but it is a visa card you can use it for whatever you want so i just wanted to show you that shift card okay so that's basically it um i think i've pretty much well covered everything uh and so hopefully you know if you're in the us and you want to spend some of your uh steam uh and buy some things or even pay some bills buy some food you know that's a way to do it is to uh is to uh, use the uh, use the shift card. So I hope this video helps, and I will be making some more videos for you guys.